Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, today I'm going to show you a knife that was made in the good old USA. Um, my three pre previous videos, uh, let's see, we had one from Solingen, Germany, the Boker Mamba, um, the Boker Plus uh, Bad Guy, which is was made in China. And the last one we had was the um, uh, Viper Turn that was made in Italy. So I'm going to show you a nice prime video. I just got a message came, that came up. Hang on. A prime video of a USA made knife. Um, I think you guys will like it. First, let's take a look. Do a quick pocket dump in reverse because I'll be going out um, I have to go out to, to the doctors and then um, over to my sisters so we'll, this is what we'll be taking out of course the money and some biblical stuff but the carry option today will be let's pull the light out will be the Groman lockback is always worth another look love that blade so we'll be taking that along and also I like to bring this coin here which also this was a gift from Sean over at EDC thanks again Sean um, and this was a gift from Stuart Harvey put on the whole armor of God Pray always. I like to carry that along too. So, after this video, I'll be going out for a little while. Um, been real busy trying to do as many replies to your guys' comments as I can. Um, so, bear with me. But let's take a look at this knife here. First, let's take a look at the box. It's a cool box. This is a, a, a case classic knife, and these were made by Queen um, for exclusive sale on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. The model I have is a 62046J. It's serialized at number 715, um, and the great and late uh, Jim Parker facilitated facilitated um, the the runs that were made the production runs um, he had contacts with um, uh, Queen Cutlery and contacts with case and commissioned Queen to build a thousand of these in the color that I'm going to show you and a thousand in another color and um, to be sold on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So this is a 1990-62046J, and it's a moose. A moose you probably never seen, a center swell. Or you probably never seen one as awesome as this. Let's slide it out. When they're good like this, I have to use the pedestal of fame. When they're beautiful knives like this. Check that out. Now right away what caught my eye on this, of course, is the blade shapes and the, uh, the blade grinds. You got the hollow grind. You look at... Um, the top... Your main blade here is actually a dagger grind um, just for the tip. And then it goes back to the, the hollow grind. And this is what I love about it. No etching, but just the two, the double X stamp right there. Um, this is a brown Rogers, Bro Rogers bone jig, jigging. Uh, let's see if we can get some better light on it. It's not doing justice to how beautiful this bone looks. 
but you know it's a Rogers bone by the jigging is all random. There's really no pattern to it. Each um, each little cutout is uh, different than the other. There's no random pattern, and each one is um, independently different. So you got your spear point, actually dagger tip spear point, and look at that clip blade. A little bit of scratching on it. Um, some other info on this is um, they made a thousand moss bottom green with the same frame. Only they use the bomb shield instead of the bow tie shield. And they, these shields shields are pinned in. It's not glued in. Um, and then in 92, they revived it. And they made the covers in stag and red Rogers bone. So you got the brown and the green made in 1990. And then the stag in red Rogers Bone made in 92 and every um, every one was made with a thousand pieces so I mean you know a thousand when you compare that to GEC when they do like a hundred um, but for case a thousand pieces is pretty um, what would you say, pretty uh, substantial for collectors. Uh, these go for quite a bit of money. In fact, if you look in the Pocket Knife Traders Price Guide, Volume 8, this is valued at $175. I paid $140 for it. So, um, yeah, these, these are not uh, common carry knives. Although I imagine a lot of people buy them to carry and use. This is definitely a collector's piece for me. Um, let's see, what else can I say about it? Yeah, they were uh, exclusively marketed by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which was pretty cool. Let's check out the pile side. And then we'll take a look at it in the hand. And you can see the serial number 0715. And look at that golden brown jigging, that bone. Only Queen can do that. And right there you'll see the random, the whole random and independent jigging, which kind of really gives it, um, I think, the best jigging possible uh, you'll see a lot of knives I don't have any bone jig bone out here but most of them are just uh, an identical pattern throughout got your center swell uh, pinched bolsters lined bolsters um, very uh, what do you want to say very executive like I guess you could say We'll take a look at this dagger tip, too, and the swedging on these. Let's move it up to the hand here. Very snappy. Let's see if I can do this without dumping everything on the ground. And one day I'll put some new knives out here in case anyone's getting bored of all this lovely stag. My boot knife, other carry options, a buck knife in the back there. And then we got some more stag over here. But yeah, one of these days... Um, I'll change it around, get some beautiful colors out there and some beautiful knives. So here we go. Let's take a look at it uh, in the hand. Just 
Trying to slide the light up a little bit closer. Beautiful bow tie shield. I love the center swell. And as you'll see, it's tighter than a drum. They have a little patina going on the brass liners and spacer, but each blade has its own spring for measurements. Roughly three and five eighths closed. And here's your main blade. I mean, what? they got everything covered here. Spear point, um, spear point and a clip blade. Pretty much all you need, right? But no, they decided to fancy it up a little bit. Um, you'll see it says Case Brothers, Bradford, Pennsylvania. There you go. 1990 USA. You have your double X stamp. And there's your dagger tip. Dagger tip spear point, I guess. Really feels good in the hand with this um, center swell. And of course, with the clip point, that just kind of gets right in between your fingers there. So there's really no hot spots. A beautiful knife. I'd love to carry this. And who knows? I just might. I'm crazy enough to do that. And just knock the value down on it. It's your clip point. Also has a nice swedge. Nice, deep, um, rounded nail mix. This one here also says Case Brothers, Bradford, Pennsylvania, 1990, USA. And here, let's see, I'll show you where the serial number is. 0715. Beautiful color on the bone. There you go. This is what the case collectors love. Um, you go on eBay, you put in the search bar case classics, and you'll see what I mean. Um, the only people that are more vibrant than the GEC collectors or the case collectors and they go bonkers for these knives and I figured I'd get one or two for the collection I actually have another one on the way a stag whittler which I'll be showing pretty soon so in closing Let's see. I really have nothing to put it next to because I'm kind of in a hurry here. But let's put it back out on the box. Put the box out here. There you go. Whoops. So, until next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.